Hey guys, it's Burgos here, and in this video, I'm going to give my advices from the experience I actually have in kingdom building games. Uh, of course, the kingdom building games are different, but in general, I can share with you what I'm expecting to happen uh, in the future. Let's say it like this in the future, uh, what most likely is going to be the important uh, points, important. Um, Say decisions that the players should make in their progress in in general in age of empires of course things can be a little different but it's not so bad to have just one more opinion from somebody who is playing different kingdom building games for like five years so i'm going to start with the first thing is the main things in the game the main things in the game at some point at the, at the beginning is going to be your troops how you're going to level your troops and hand to hand with the heroes troops and heroes so i'm expecting uh to be presented new heroes i think this is absolutely normal we're going to see new heroes in the future i think uh, I, I don't think this is going to be the only heroes that is going to be the game. So one of the important things is going to be, especially at the beginning, it's not going to be that much um, the, the heroes, but it's going to be the troops. How you manage to do uh, the research over the troops and how far you are. Now, currently, I'm trying to open the veteran swordsman. Uh, because I'm Swordsman main, I invest in uh, Swordsman heroes. We're going to go there why I decide to go for Swordsman and why I actually pick a specific troop. So as you can see, yeah, I'm trying to open the veteran. The first priority was to have the more heroes I can deploy outside. And this is mainly uh, about the gathering just to gather more resources because resources and speed ups is going to be the backbone of uh, of your castle uh, castle development and basically everything except the heroes. So here, yeah, as you can see, I go for higher level veterans. Now, in my first kingdom building game, I focus over the economic talent tree, but I understand that the gathering was not that important in none of the games I actually play. Uh, especially right now and the production one um, these buildings you have in the castles you're going to gather one hour outside and you're going to get the same amount of like 10 hours from your buildings inside uh, your castle so i don't think this is actually that important but here is the important thing and this is building speed and research speed this is the thing that is going to at least reduce the speed ups you're going to actually need to progress in the game. This is in almost every kingdom building game, every castle building game. You need to reduce the time and you're going to use less resources in point of speed ups. And the speed ups is something that you don't get for free. Resources, you can send heroes, they're going to gather, they're going to go back. Uh, I'll get all these resources and after this you need speed ups or just waiting the building to be done but in general uh, with high priority is the speed ups and reducing the speed ups so here again I go for the building now the next research and building speed ups is little far away from me it's basically yeah a lot too far away from me so I stop actually progressing in this direction even though here the building speed start from 2%, here at best I get 7.5%. But even with 2%, this is going to be like 10% because it's 5 uh, upgrades. So yeah, the focus most likely is going to be in your researches and this special building that is university. It's called different names in the different kingdom building games. But yeah, this is one of the most important places. The other thing is the heroes. Now the heroes, uh, this this one that uh, it, here it, things are way a little more different. I mean, in every game is a different one because the main reason is the heroes is something that is going to be the new the new thing, the new content in the game. So 
at some point you're going to finish university, you're going to finish all the researches and, and so on, but the heroes, you're going to have most likely new heroes presented in the game. So every game go different ways in this. Now I see this Wookiee spin, I mean currently is some other spin, legendary, advent. Or uh, like like I like to say it, Wookie Spin. Currently, I make 65 to get the Atiwa. I'm collecting some heroes, but think here the difference in um in heroes here is you don't need actually to have tokens that is just going to upgrade the game. Now you can level up the game. Uh, the the signature skill with skill points and also these skills with again. With skill points the cool thing is your main spell the commander spell that is executed only if his commander is leveled up by your level so your main weapon the commander skill is leveled up with your levels now i think this is very interesting it's way more different way of building here the heroes but I like it. I like it, to be honest. Now, the thing that is the investment of the hero is actually the ranking. The ranking, some ranks is going to give some good stuff, some not that much. But the influence of ranking is different for different heroes. So, as we can see here for Atiwa, when um, mostly you can see, most, most of the times it's going to be the signature skill that is going to get boosted. Because this gives you opportunity to invest in the hero that is going to execute commander and signature skill. But if you don't like the commander skill of this hero, you can use him as a deputy. And as a deputy, he cannot execute his commander skill. So I think this is very smart from the game. But I think in the future we're going to see, again, a new heroes from my experience course new events and the thing i like in age of empires mobile is actually the abundance of events there is so many events which actually give you something and this is the maybe the difference with the other uh, kingdom building games i have played is here the event actually matter here odyssey look at this thing this is so many rewards here Day four, so many, you have different directions. And from here, you get this chest inside. You have uh, Caesar and all this. I mean, I, I think it's, well, it was only two heroes that can be inside. But in general, the rewards are very, very good. This one is extremely good for everybody. Getting experience, you need level up for your heroes. This, like this, you're going to increase your legion capacity. So you're going to bring more warriors on the battlefield. And at the same time, by leveling, it's going to increase the commander skill. Absolutely, absolutely awesome. Also, warrior trial. Now, this thing I didn't actually go for. Maybe this is the only event that I don't like. Because here you get actually dead troops. Uh, I think I make a couple fights. And yeah, I, I get... I get dead troops, which I, I really don't like. <laughs> if I remember right. Something like this. I really don't remember why I skipped this event. But yeah, there was a reason behind. But still, it's a good event. Getting some uh, stuff speed ups. And here the speed ups is not that big issue. You get so many different speed ups. And a lot of speed ups. Legendary advent. Of course, you get some free spins every day. Here... Royal equipment, get so many stuffs, and this is a legendary summoning. Uh, two hours from these speed ups. I mean, there is so many here free stuffs. Look at this three hours building stamina for free. Tomorrow, I'm going to be able to get uh, this one. Uh, of, of course, this video maybe is going to go out later after a couple of days, so most likely it's not going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow, it's not going to be Monday tomorrow, but. In general, I really like um, I really like this thing that there is so many different uh, different events. Even alliance events here we have. This is something that you non-stop loot, some speed ups. It's basically free speed ups. Every 
10 hours i get like two hours building and two hours training speed up and a lot of resources uh here this horse we finished this event and i want to show you uh i think it's from the system uh yeah look at this qk imperial coins like uh two two million resources 10k alliance coins uh it, it's just so many rewards and this actually don't make you feel that you you're you you don't progress because you get so many things that you can <coughs> sorry about that maybe i'm going to cut it maybe i'm not i'm not so sure but i feel a little sick today but yeah from the kingdom kingdom building point you're going to finish your troops at some point if i have to do it overall uh you're going to finish the researches most likely the content is going to be heroes and of course new and pvp alliances how strong is your alliance now from point of hero since there's going to be new and new and new heroes presented in the game uh i strongly I, i'm going to go with a single troop that's why i say i'm swordsman because i'm going to go only with swordsman like this i'm going to focus on my investments in the swordsman and it's not going to be that much expensive for me if i focus all over uh, the heroes and the troops so yeah i guess this will be for this video guys if you have any questions you can write it in the comments below i'm going to try to answer everything you have to ask and yeah see you in the next video